Hello everyone! Sa so, ngayon ay nasa part 4 na tayo sa ating topic na Foundational Elements of Project Management. At ang unang tatalahayan natin is about the indicators of project failure. Projects that are inadequately supervised, it means lack of efficient project management, can result to unpleasant outcomes or unpleasant consequences. Projects that are not managed well or do not have proper project management in place can lead to many issues. Any of the following consequences may arise from projects that are poorly managed or lack of effective project management. Number one, the failure to meet the goals for which the project was initiated. So, ang lahat ng legitimate projects may layunin yan bago, bago inumpisahan. Kapag hindi natugunan yung mga layunin na yon, sinyalis yon na yung project na yon ay bigo. The project is a failure when the project failed to meet its goals. Number two is the failure to meet the expectation of stakeholders. So kapag ang legitimate project, halimbawa na-announce na yung project, asaan mo yan, may mga inaasahan na rin ang mga stakeholders. Hindi mo maiiwasan yan na talagang may aasahan ang mga kliyente, ang mga customers. Maging ang gobyerno may inaasahan yan. Ang mga investors sa project na yon may inaasahan din yan. Ang top level management may inaasahan yan. At maging yung mga mismong gagawa ng project may inaasahan yan. At kapag lahat ng mga inaasahan na ito ng mga stakeholders ay hindi natugunan, sinyali sa yon na nabigo ang project. The project is a failure when stakeholders are disappointed, unsatisfied, and displeased. Number three is the failure to produce the product according to project standard. Ang isang legitimate na project, sa una pa lang nakaset na kung anong klase ang kahinat na nito. Mayroong standard na magiging sukatan. Kapag ang standard na yon ay hindi na meet, sinyalis yon na nabigo ang project. Kapag naging outcome ay substandard, mababa yung kalidad, hindi siya quality, then bigo talaga yung proyekto. The project is a failure when project requirements are not met. The product is substandard product and low quality bigo o failure ang project kapag hindi na meet ang project standard number 4 is the failure to meet establish time frames pag simula pa lang ng proyekto may mga nakaayos ng schedules may mga dapat ayusin sa ganitong ling sa ganitong week sa ganitong buwan ang purpose ng mga schedules na yon ay para matapos yung project sa due date niya sa deadline niya sa takdang panahon kapag nabigong matugunan ang itinatag na time frame bigo yung project the project is a failure when it is not completed according to the target date. Number five is the failure to manage the budget. So, the cost exceeded or surpassed the allocated project budget. Bago pa magsimula ang proyekto, na-estimate na yung gagastusin. Simula sa una hanggang sa pagtatapos nito. Kapag hindi maayos na napamahalaan ang budget, lumampas sa gastusin na inilaan sa budget na iyon, 
dahil baka sumobra na yung araw na pagtatrabaho ng mga tao o di kaya sobra-sobra yung nakuhang tao o sobra-sobra ang mga nakuhang nabili na materyales at mga iba pang dahilan kaya yung budget na ubus na hindi pa tapos yung proyekto o maaring natapos yung proyekto pero sobra-sobra yung nagastos the project is a failure if the expenses exceed the predetermined budget the project is considered a failure in the current business landscape it is essential for leaders to effectively navigate limited budgets shorter timelines resource constraints and rapidly evolving technology in order to stay competitive on a global scale companies should turn to project management methodologies as a way to consistently deliver valuable business outcomes proceed naman tayo sa causes of project failure number one is the lack of proper discipline in managing projects and programs in order to prevent this issue create a clear project plan based on a reliable methodology and utilize project management tools to monitor and manage the project effectively number two absence of support or insufficient backing from top level management to prevent this issue it is important to involve the executive leadership regular communication should be maintained with the executive team while emphasizing the importance of their engagement when required number three there is no connection to the company's strategic plan everyone involved in the project must have a thorough understanding of the business direction it is important that everyone is aware of the project's significance the implications of its completion and the strategies needed to achieve the desired outcomes number four choosing team members who are not right fit for a project can lead to negative consequences occasionally individuals are chosen for a project based on their availability rather than their skills however it is advisable to prioritize selecting the most qualified team members for the job if there is a lack of qualified individuals consider hiring contractors or consultants who possess the necessary expertise and experience number five there is no criteria available to assess the project's success frequently there is a lack or of predetermined criteria or benchmark to measure the success of a project there is a lack of clear guidelines in place to determine if the project is really successful or not 
Number six, inadequate risk management strategy. Every successful project incorporates a total risk management strategy. It is vital to identify and address all potential risks by creating a detailed mitigation plan. Number seven, incapable of handling changes. Often, the organization is unprepared to embrace the changes that a project may bring or in other words not ready to supervise the changes that a project may introduce proceed naman tayo sa four phases of traditional project management ang iba ang tawag nila dito ay four stages of conventional project management Project management involves overseeing a project from start to finish, ensuring successful execution and completion. It comprises four different series of procedures. The phase one is project initiation and definition phase. This stage of the project outlines the goals and objectives that the project aims to achieve upon completion. It includes defining the necessity for the business. Establishing clear and specific standards for performance and allocation of resources. Recognizing the different groups of people who could be involved in the project. And outlining and outlining the project's scope, timelines, resources, and potential risks, along with strategies for communicating, ensuring quality, and overseeing external procurement of goods and services. Phase 2, Project Planning and Organizing Phase. In its most basic form, at this stage of the project, the project manager and essential team members are outlining all the tasks that need to be completed in order to ensure the project's success. It involves forming and overseeing the project team, engaging and overseeing project stakeholders, planning the budget and launching or initiating the project. Phase 3 Project Execution and Implementation Phase In this stage, significant resources in terms of effort, time, and financial investment are dedicated to carrying out the tasks 
outlined in the planning phase. It also includes monitoring progress and making necessary adjustments to ensure the project goals are met successfully. Phase 4 Project Close Out Phase Once a project is finished successfully, the project manager and sometimes essential team members document their learnings and finish all the necessary administrative tasks to officially close the project. The following are essential for successfully carrying out these processes. Number one is information. Precise, up-to-date, and complete data is essential for planning, monitoring, and evaluating the project effectively. The second one is communication. Sharing information clearly, openly, and in a timely manner with the right people and groups throughout the project. The third one is commitment. Members of the team make individual commitments to deliver the expected outcomes within the set timeline and within the allocated budget. The conventional methods of project management may not be effective for projects that involve new technologies, materials, or are much larger in scale than previous ones, with tasks that differ from those encountered before. When faced with significant uncertainty, unexpected risks, and a wide range of potential outcomes. Traditional decision tools becomes less effective. In such cases, project managers may need to adopt a more flexible and adaptive strategy. Many companies have found success when the adoptive project management model where sponsors provide support to projects in stages as progress is made rather than allocating a large amount of resources at the start. Proceed naman tayo sa approach in the adaptive project management models. Number one is take on tasks in a step-by-step -step manner. Teams break down their work into small tasks, assess the results of each task, and make necessary changes as they progress. So, hinati-hati ng mga teams or mga kupunan, mga grupo, ang kanilang gawain sa madiliit na gawain. Sinusukat ang mga resulta ng bawat gawain na iyon at pagkatapos ay gumawa ng mga kinakailangang pagbabago sa kanilang pagpapatuloy. Number two is complete tasks quickly. Having quick Turnaround times enables a cycle of continuous improvement. Now, pag nagkakaroon ng mabilis na pagbuelta, ibig sabihin ay mabilis matapos ang isang task, 
upang makapagsimulang muli ng panibago. Ito ay nagbibigay daan sa patuloy na pagpapabuti. Number three is highlight the importance of delivering value as soon as possible in a project. Creating small deliverables early in the process helps receive feedback and allows for incorporating new learnings into future work. Uh, ang paggawa ng mga maliliit na evaluation o quality control ng maaga habang umuusad ang trabaho, uh, makakatulong iyon sa pagkakaroon ng feedback na magbibigay daan naman para sa mga bagong pag-aaral o bagong mga hakbang, bagong mga insight para sa mas epektibong pag-perform sa hinaharap. Number four is ensure that the project team consists of individuals who are capable of being flexible and adjusting to changes. Certain individuals possess a quicker capacity for learning and are more open to participation compared to others. Eh, ganun naman talaga. Ang mga ilang individual ay nagtataglay talaga ng mas mabilis na kakayahang matuto at mas bukas sa pakikipa- pakikipagbahagi kumpara sa iba. Ito ay malaking hamon para sa project manager kung sino ang worker na ilalagay sa isang task upang makapag-contribute siya ng mas mabilis o makapag-contribute siya sa mas mabilis na pag-accomplish ng layunin ng project. Music